Dragon Lily Squad. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's Hey, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Tiger Lily Squad gang. Gang. How you living? How you really? How you feeling? It's your girl. Essence of Shay. Um, <laughs> Uh, before we get anything started, don't forget to like, a comment, and what? Subscribe. Turn on all your post notification notification bell. Ring it, ding, 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 and follow me on all social media platforms at Essence of Shea. Today's video, we will be making <laughs> a Jamaican thing here. That that didn't sound Jamaican at all. It actually didn't. I don't know what that was, but it was a Jamaican. And to my Jamaican supporters and family members, I apologize. I don't know what that was. So we're gonna cut out the accent and we're just gonna talk like me. But today we'll be making um, some red snapper stew fish, brown stew fish. Um, so right in this bowl, I have been seasoning my red snapper. I've been using, I used my green seasoning. If you wanna see a video on this, let me know. Um, I used the Trader Joe's 21 seasoning salute. Um, I used uh, seafood, uh, seafood seasoning. I mean, this is what I have. And then I used some smoked paprika. I have in this bowl just, I don't know if you can see it. Probably too close. Uh, I have some there we go I have some flour and I'm going to first heat up my pan uh, let's turn that down a little bit heat up my pan this part I have to from what my mom taught me and my grandma taught me this part the oil has to be very hot um, so we're gonna let that heat up for a little minute I heat up for like two minutes but while i do that i'm going to show you my fish and how well seasoned she look eh she look well seasoned did i just say i ain't gonna come with no accent and here i come with accents again hold on so here is the red snapper um this is a fillet it was massive and i just cut it in half um, so what I'm going to do is uh, put that in the flour and just douse it a little bit and then shake off the excess. And um, these are the seasonings, like I said, that I used. Nothing crazy. Nothing too crazy. This just gives it a little bit more crisp. And um, my gram said that it stops it from stick into the pan when you're frying it so this is how it looks look how big that fillet is i ain't gonna be able to eat that whole thing by myself i already know it while that is heating up i'm gonna drink me some elderberry tea i really don't know the benefits of this but i heard that it's good for you especially in this time so i'm drinking it i didn't add any um honey or anything is just straight tea i'm trying my best to wean off the sweets it's a little hard for your girl but we're gonna figure it out we're gonna pop in what y'all think you ready to go i think we're ready so i'm drying my hands I take that fish Put that fish right in the pot. Wash your hands again. Nah, got sick of it. I mean, I'm cooking for myself, but if you're cooking for other people, wash your hands, fam. Like, don't get on your crusty fingers while you're yam peeing. Your booty juice all under your nail. That ain't cool. That's a fish. It might seem like a lot of oil i am not going to use all that oil to cook with but you do need a significant amount of oil to fry the fish and the point of frying it is so once again it doesn't 
get it has a little crisp but it doesn't be too soggy right i may have put too much flour but it's fine it's fine i'm not gonna judge it yet she might come out pretty so i flipped it over and it's frying this meal is actually pretty fast it's pretty like 20 minutes and you're done the longest is the rice that's the longest so this is the oil um, I, it's only like two or three tablespoons. So what I'm gonna do now is add the brown sugar. Hold on. This is how it looks now. And then it's gonna caramelize and then we'll get back to it. But you don't want it to burn, but you want it to get caramel and loosey-goosey. Artichokey. <laughs> so this is how it looks just a little bit um, when I say caramelize. So it's gonna keep doing that. Um, we just want that to caramelize just a little bit more and then we're gonna add um let me show you then we're gonna add where are we the peppers onions and i have some garlic we're gonna add that so so i added everything and what i'm gonna do is just season it um onion powder some garlic powder stir that up See that brown sugar on the bottom? Stir that up. Let that cook for a little bit. So I'm gonna add some thyme. And then I'm gonna add a cup of water. Or maybe not a cup. So I have some seasoning left in here and I'm just gonna add a little bit to the pot. I'm not going to add too much. So I'm going to add the fish back to the pot. Cover it and let it cook for about 15 minutes yeah 15 minutes and that should be the time that the rice will be done as well so everything everything is coming together <laughs> so this is our brown stew snapper she look good don't she let me plate it up and show you the end result. I am not about to eat all this, so I'm definitely about to split this in half. Hold on. So this is the final plate. I'm a big believer in presentation. My stuff gotta look good. I eat with my eyes first. She cute. Mm-hmm. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see any more cooking videos, leave your suggestions in the comment box below skis. Okay, tag the squad. See you later. Two O's. Uh, crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with